So hi everyone. So as we have already informed that we are coming up with a video lecture series on contemporary implant dentistry. So uh, as a part of uh, the video lecture series, we will be giving some practical demonstrations. So in this video, we will be demonstrating how to manage bleeding complication during an implant surgery. So we will be focusing on cauterization of vessels. So let's head to the uh, demonstration. So we will start with our demonstration. Here we have taken a chicken leg. We have uh, isolated the uh, blood vessel, which uh, we will cut it off into and then try to ligate or uh, cauterize it. So for cauterization, we are using a uh, radio cautery. So you have two types of cautery. Either you have the bipolar or the unipolar. We have the unipolar cautery. If you have a bipolar cautery, it's always better, but uh, we can uh, do with a unipolar uh, cautery as well. So here we have certain modes, the cut and coagulation mode, the cut mode, the uh, hemostat mode. So for uh, cauterization, we usually use the cut mode. Yes, you heard it right. We have to use the cut mode only and try at the minimum possible power. Okay, so assembly and all uh, that is out of the scope of this video, but you should know how to assemble an uh, electro unit. So, focus over here. What we are going to do is, we are going to injure this vessel. So it's not bleeding, but what we have to do is now, crush it now we have crushed the vessel and now we have to cauterize it so in the cut mode only I'll just start cauterizing it so this is how you would uh, be able to cauterize a bleeding vessel however uh, I would suggest before using cautery try using a pressure gauze application what you can do is uh, soak your pressure gauze with some uh, epinephrine or the local anesthetic that contains uh, epinephrine. You soak your gauze with that and try to apply pressure on the bleeding side. If the bleeding stop, it's good. If it doesn't stop, then you have to switch to the cauterization method. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you.